and welcome to Clapier. In this video, we will see how to capture QR codes or barcodes for your apps with the help of the code scanner block that is available in Clapier. Let's see how to use this with the help of an example. Over here, I have created a visit management app that captures a visitor's details upon entry. In this app, I would also like the visitor to scan a QR code on entry to know the purpose of their visit. So when they scan the code, it will tell whether they have come for an interview or a business meeting or any other requirement. So let's see how to add this option. I click on design app where we can edit our app. You can see all the earlier fields. I then click on add field and then click on code scanner. This code scanner block can scan both QR codes as well as barcodes. To configure this block, we go to the right hand panel that has appeared over here. There are two options, basic and advanced for configuring. The first thing I will do is to change the label name into purpose of visit. We can also give a description to this field. This is usually to help a user to know what to input into the field or it could be some helpful information for them. Or you can also leave it blank. For now, I will type in, please scan the code provided by security. When I click on save, you can see the description has appeared at the bottom of the field. You can also mark this field as required. So when a visitor is filling in the app and you do not want them to miss out in scanning the code, you can enable this option. So without scanning, they will not be able to make any submissions. I click on save and you can see now that this field is now denoted with a red star mark. We go to the advanced option. The first option says allow user to input manually. It can happen that a QR code or a barcode may not be available at the moment for scanning. For that particular case, you can enable this option so that the person can input the code manually. Since I want to show how to scan the codes, I will disable this for now. I click on save and we go to app home to see how this looks like. You can see the code scanner block has now appeared in the app which says purpose of visit. You can also see the description as well as the red star mark. If I fill in all the details in this app and without scanning the code and I click on submit, you can see it is now shaded in red, which means that without scanning, I cannot make any submission. That is because we have marked this field as required. To open up a camera to scan your code, you can simply click on the blue button over here and it will open up your camera. The QR code is now scanned and you can see that the purpose of visit now mentions interview. That is because I have configured it to mention interview upon scanning. To configure your codes, there are many online generators available to configure QR codes, barcodes or any other codes that you might need. Now let's go back to the design app for further configurations. Over here in the advanced option, we have open camera automatically which means that as you saw earlier, when the app loaded, you could see all the fields and then we had to click on a button to open up the camera. But if you want the camera to load first before filling in the details, you can enable this option. I click on save. Now let's see how this looks like. I go back to app home and you can see the camera has now opened up automatically to make a scan. It has now scanned the barcode, which says business meeting. So in this way, you can scan both QR codes and barcodes. Now let's go back again. For this particular example, I will disable the option for opening up the camera automatically. And then I go to the next option that says display this field if. Over here, you can implement calculations and logic. If you have worked with spreadsheets earlier, you would have come across implementing various types of calculations as well as logic such as if, else, or, etc. The same can be done in Clapier as well. We share a similar library. But in place of cell numbers, we have the concept of variable names, which you can find at the top of every field in brackets. These variable names are very important for the calculation and logic purpose. Now in this app, we have the field visit acknowledgement. So say for example, at the front desk, a security person acknowledges your visit and selects yes, only then will you want the code scanner block to appear in the app for scanning. But if they select it as no, then you do not want the code scanner block to appear. To implement this logic over here, we can type in at the rate with the variable name, which is visit acknowledgement equals to yes. Now I click on save and we go back to app home to see how this looks like. You can see the code scanner block has now disappeared from the app. 
under visit acknowledgement if i select no nothing happens but if i select yes it appears on the app now i will go ahead and fill in this app quickly and now i will scan a code for purpose of visit it has now captured the qr code and now i can go ahead and click on submit you can also view this app in the mobile version as well. All you have to do is download the app via Play Store or App Store. And the moment you create your app, it will be ready to use on the mobile version. So let's see how this looks like. Over here in my mobile screen, you can see the Clapia app has been downloaded. So I can go ahead and click on it. And you can see all the apps that I have created. Now I can go ahead and click on Visit Management app. You can see that the app is now live and ready to use. So let me go ahead and fill in the details really quickly. I have filled in all the top details. Now when I scroll down, you can see the code scanner block is still not there. If I click on visit acknowledgement as yes, only then will it appear. So now I can go ahead and make a scan. The QR code has been scanned and now the purpose of visit says interview. I can go ahead and make a submission. All your submissions can be viewed in the mobile version as well. You can simply click on view submissions and you can see our earlier submission in the web version is also appeared over here. To view all the details, you can click on a submission and you can see all the details that has been captured. Now let's go back. To view all the submissions in the web version, you can simply click on the submissions tab over here and then click on any submission that you would like to view. A right hand panel will appear that has captured all the details. If you would like to download any submission or all submissions that you might have, you can click on the download option over here and it will download in a CSV format. If you have any queries regarding the configuration of the code scanner block or any other features in Clapier, you can request support by clicking on the option over here or you can email us directly to support at clapier.com and we will be happy to assist you. Thank you.